Well, welcome everyone to Legal Futures What a Trustee Should Know Before Agreeing to Act webinar presented by me, Jill Steele of Law Skills Limited on the 26th of October 2021. The trust world really um, becomes ever more regulated, doesn't it? And subject to scrutiny. And beneficiaries are part of all of this, uh, taking trustees to task over their administration of a trust. And given the personal risks involved, if a trust has in fact been mismanaged, then practitioners really must be objective, that's you, you know, when invited to act as a trustee, particularly of an existing trust where decisions may have been made incorrectly any time in the past. So sometimes you've just got to toughen up and just say no. <laughs> and really that's um, what I'm trying to get across to you is my aim in this webinar is to explore the information that you need to consider before agreeing to take office as a trustee, bearing in mind the fact that trustees face personal liability for breaches of trust. I once had a, a client and colleague who came to see me uh, who just agreed to be a trustee of a family trust. She accepted the role because her mother was one of the family members and she was too old to get involved. And the trustees had been her mother's two brothers. But when she came to see me, she wanted to know what this role involved. Well, it was kind of back to front. She should have asked that, really, before she accepted. And when we investigated what had been going on, there was all kinds of problems. Conflicts of interest, problems over a property that should have been renovated because it was Grade 1 listed, etc., etc. And unfortunately, once you've said yes, and you're acting as a trustee, it's your job to put it all right. Otherwise, you're as equally responsible as the, as the trustee who went before you. So it's best to reflect first uh, and not uh, worry at your leisure. So if you are listening to this webinar, hopefully you'll be able to appreciate the risks involved in acting as a trustee, understand the task ahead of you if you choose to accept it, and reject inappropriate invitations to act as a trustee because quite reasonably you shouldn't be taking on things which really don't have any benefits or any liabilities. So I'm just going to um, close off the webinar, um, the, the webcam, I'm sorry to say, yes. Um, so there's no need to focus on, um, on me. OK, let's have a look at the slides then. Um, the agenda for this session is divided into seven sections as follows. There is firstly something to discuss about eligibility and competence. Then we'll look at the wording of the trust deed and ask the practical question, will you actually be able to act with your other trustees? Clearly you want to look at certain documents that will help your decision making, such as the previous minutes, the accounts, and then think about the role of what you have to do when you're investing the trust fund and who has been delegated to act as an agent perhaps in the past and again whether you whether you rate them as a performer. <music> 